Hi, welcome to this tutorial on J console and this is TP. Let's start about uh, uh, what J console is and like uh, we'll see basically if you see your uh, Java, uh, the JDK folder where you have installed your Java, you would be finding like uh, the jar related to the J console. For example, now here I have the JDK folder and if you go to the bin, sorry if you go to the lib you can see the j console executable jar this is the jar file which is related to uh, which you can use to fire up the j console gui so like uh, this can be executed by double clicking this uh, executable jar or the other way is like to start it from your command mode so let's go to our command mode and uh, let's see how to start this uh, gui based uh, j console uh, it's very simple you can just navigate to your uh, your JDK and you just uh, give the syntax uh, J console and uh, you can see the GUI the GUI interface coming up for the J console this is one way of uh, starting your uh, GUI for uh, J console the other way is just directly go to the uh, executable and uh, the J console can be used to monitor the performance of your uh, Java virtual machine applications running on your local machine and also the applications running on your remote machine so in this tutorial we'll be seeing like uh, how to monitor a local application which is very similar to that of uh, uh, monitoring a remote application as well so like uh, so without any further delay we'll just see how we can monitor a local uh, web application running on my machine so for that i have to start my tomcat in which i would be deploying a sample web app and like uh, so like we shall start the apache tomcat so we should navigate to the apache tomcat folder uh, for now we would see what are all the applications are uh, if you see the web apps folder i already have an application spring test which is uh, deployed so we will right away start up the tomcat so this would start me the tomcat server and it is uh, deploying the spring test test uh, spring tester to our so it's up and running now so now we would be using our uh, j console to monitor this uh, 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 web app running in the tomcat um, as a whole we will be looking over the the we will be monitoring the tomcat so internally it will be taking care of the web app uh, which is running there so first of all to start the j console we should know which process we have to start up with see like there would be a lot of uh, process running on your present machine and uh, for now we are uh, much concentrated on the web application which is deployed in the tomcat server so we should know the process id of the particular uh, application running on your uh, tomcat server so you can use the command uh, task list to list out the various process running on your machine and their uh, process IDs if you see this list it you can see the like uh, what is the process name and what is the uh, process ID related to this particular uh, process we would be more interested with this process ID so now for this uh, to identify the java.exe yeah this one this java.exe would be the one which is related to this tomcat and uh, the we should take we should take note of this uh, process id and it is like uh, 1600 currently in my machine so to start the j console i just need to give the same command j console but this time with the process id 1600 so this would start up my gui see here we can see that like uh, it is getting connected to 1600 and uh, it started uh, monitoring the application related to the process id 1600 that is nothing but our web app running on the tomcat server so this is the basic gui which appears and like uh, you can see the green icon over here this is uh, for uh, connecting and uh, disconnecting the uh, 
GUI to the I mean connecting and disconnecting the uh, J console to the particular process now once you click it it says like it did get disconnected and it uh, prompts you for asking you whether you want to reconnect it again like say like uh, yeah when you say reconnect it again connects to the particular uh, process ID 1600 again it's our uh, sample web application and it's like starts monitoring and there are various tabs which you can see like uh, these are all uh, the performance parameters which would you which you can uh, monitor through the J console so like uh, if you see the overview it's uh, overview it's like uh, displays the graphical monitoring uh, information about uh, CPU usage yeah, um, uh, memory usage uh, this is the CPU usage this is the memory usage and it's like uh, the statistics on threads and uh, classes which are currently loaded and other stuff this is like a overview graphical representation of all these parameters so like uh, coming to the next tab memory it's again like uh, here there are uh, uh, if you see there the graph is related to the memory uh, and the default selected one is uh, heap memory and also like here you can see some uh, statistics regarding to the uh, heap uh, heap and non heap uh, data and uh, see like uh, there is uh, performance uh, GC uh, button over here which you can uh, select by pressing over this you can request a uh, you can request for uh, uh, garbage collection and like uh, if you see the uh, chart here this has uh, corresponding uh, memory spaces over here like uh, there are uh, it's like if you see uh, there is something called a add-on space. Uh, this is a memory pool which is initially allocated for uh, most objects. This is the place where most of the objects gets created and like uh, next one is the survivor space uh, heap. This is the memory space uh, uh, which has the objects which have survived once the GC is run on add-on space and uh, that's like uh, once the GC is run on the add-on space and if there are any remaining uh, objects uh, which have survived after uh, running the GC on add-on space it comes under the survivor space uh, uh, pool and like uh, the tenure pool is something like uh, if there for a particular instance of time the objects which have uh, been in the survivor space comes to this uh, tenured gen and like the other one which we are uh, which is important is like the perm gen so like uh, when you are using uh, older versions of tomcat maybe tomcat 6.x and 5.x you might have most oftenly encountered the exception saying perm gen space exception this is mostly related to this uh, memory pool and uh, say like they if there are some tangling references and if there are a lot of uh, uh, tangling reference tangling references of uh, objects and if the uh, unused references are uh, getting increased and uh, if it exceeds the memory space then you get this uh, perm gen error exception and they have they have taken a lot of uh, precautions and uh, they have enhanced a lot of uh, coding in the tomcat 7 to avoid this perm gen space and uh, maybe we don't uh, see this very often when you go using this uh, tamcat 7 so like uh, these are all the uh, memory spaces which is available and you can uh, select them to view the statistics uh, related to the particular uh, memory pool so like uh, and you can select the time range saying like uh, from what time you want to view the statistics for now it's uh, set to default it's like all and this is again the consolidated list of uh, whatever is happening in this chart you can see it over here with the statistics and uh, as I said earlier if you want to perform in the sense like if you want to request a GC on this particular uh, memory pool you just can uh, uh, click on it so this is uh, overview of this uh, memory tab next we will see what threads are like uh, here if you see the threads it's like again this uh, statistics shows uh, like what are the 
peak number of threads which have run and what is the current number of threads uh, which are uh, live and uh, these are some of the statistics related to this and if say like for example in my web app uh, which has been deployed in the timecat if there are any uh, thread lag i mean de uh, deadlock situations even that can be analyzed by pressing this uh, deadlock button and if there are any deadlock conditions you can view it in this uh, frame for now there is no deadlock uh, is uh, happening in our application so there is no statistics related to it and one more thing is similarly like you can select the time ranges uh, for the statistics which is appearing over here and that's all about this uh, threads now coming to classes this is again like uh, when you start your uh, application there can be a number of uh, classes which are being loaded some would be like uh, getting unloaded and uh, some would be like living for a longer time and uh, all the statistics would be seen in this classes tab and uh, the red line is the one which shows uh, the total number of uh, loaded classes and the other line the blue one shows you the number of current uh, classes which are live and even you can see the statistics here and you can see the number of total classes unloaded and uh, similarly you can have the range time range you can select the time range and its default all so like uh, this is much about the classes uh, tab next coming to the vm summary it's like your virtual memory summary it's like a consolidated list of uh, the statistics it shows about you it shows you about the memory statistics the os operating systems information and also like uh, the number of threads running the current heap size what's the maximum heap size and uh, the garbage collector on your vm and uh, it's again like a over consolidated uh, statistic overview of all the data which has been collected on your application and these are the m beans uh, the managed beans these are not uh, regular uh, java beans and like uh, these are mostly for uh, management beans and there are variable uh, various uh, interfaces and implementations to be done if you want to have your own uh, customized uh, m beans appearing over here and here we have some of the catalina tomcat related ones which is uh, which are default and also like uh, some of the logging and uh, java.lang package and other stuff like uh, you can uh, you can do good reading on this to know more much about it and uh, for now i have used the local application running on my machine to be on the j console for uh, performance monitoring the most important thing what you have to note is like uh, the j console by itself will be like uh, consuming some of your system resources in a sense like uh, this has again this has some uh, load on your uh, 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 cpu and uh, other resources so like uh, when you the running the local like j console is not uh, sub is not uh, it's not good when you are uh, doing the same on some production or something like it would it is recommended to do on the local machine in the development everyone in the in the dev environment but like uh, it, it when it comes to some uh, real production environment and you want to do some serious uh, monitoring on your uh, application it be it's nice to be like uh, it is recommended to use uh, remote uh, monitoring using your j console it's uh, the remote monitoring is also very similar to this like but you may need to uh, you may need to start the j console uh, giving your uh, server ip and uh, the port where your application is running this is the overview of the j console and like uh, it uh, comes along with your uh, java jdk package and it's like uh, it has most of the features which can be very useful to monitor your uh, jvm and also like your uh, applications so like i think this is uh, i know this is a very basic tutorial like uh, to start uh, using the j console like and you can do a lot of uh, reading and like uh, this would help you in monitoring all your uh, applications and to uh, find uh, if there are any loopholes or if there are some performance issues happening on your uh, applications and on your uh, virtual machine thanks thanks for your time and like uh, happy coding good day bye